Well then, Ian, that was another terrific performance and uh, an even better result, probably. Yeah, I mean, um, look, away, away from home, we, we've needed to improve. We've been disappointed with our results. We have had some bad luck along that, that run as well, but um, first, and, first and foremost, you have to be hard to beat, especially at places like this. You have to come and stand up to it and, and defend your box really well and, and defend as a group and as a team from back to front. And I thought we did that really well today and give ourselves a chance to go on and win it. And there's a wonderful finish for Dion. I'm really pleased for him. So anyways, we'll come to that in a moment. But this side here, she was unbeaten at home since the end of September, played most of the top sides in, in that run as well. So that shows what a, what a big result that was today. It's a huge result, um, but we're not getting ahead of ourselves. We're still miles away from, from where we want to be and what we want to be. Um, but for now, as I said, it was about stopping the rot and becoming hard to beat again. And I think we've done that with back-to-back -back clean sheets. Uh, and now we need to work on our in-possession stuff and, and add that to what looks like a solid base. A really good game, a competitive game. It felt it was going your way towards the end in that final quarter. You looked like the ones who were going to go on and win it, but it was some way to do it. Yeah, I mean, I thought so. I thought that we'd, we'd more or less seen off everything that they'd thrown at us. And in the last 20 minutes, when Jon came on, all of a sudden we looked like we were on the front foot and it looked like we were the team that were going to go on and win it. Um, wonderful goal to win us the game. A fantastic bit of play from Jon and, and Dapo. Um, wonderful pass and a great finish. And delighted for him with, obviously, newborn Hattie that arrived on Thursday, his second child. And as I said, since he's come here, he's, he's suffered a little bit, but it's always great for centre-forwards, people that you've signed as marquee players to, to get off the mark. Yeah, lovely story. Am I right in saying that the, the little one was born overnight Thursday, so he couldn't train Friday, but jumped yeah. on the bus to join you, is that right? Yeah, I mean, you know, he's... He's a wonderful boy, Dion, um, and yeah, the minute he's, his child was born and, and mother and baby were okay, he's asking me about what time we're leaving, what time we're travelling, I can't wait to play. Um, that shows the attitude and, and what it means for him to play at this football club and fantastic scenes at the end with our wonderful away support. You were a centre-half, you wouldn't want to play against him, he didn't give you a minute's rest, does he? No, he's a, he's a pest and he's a strong, strong boy and he's got good movement and good ability. Look, he's still a work in progress and there's still improvement to come. His fitness levels and sharpness will improve. But we're delighted with him and, and all the others, really. We thought, you know, when Jan came on, he's lacked football, but you saw what he's going to give us. Um, Backer's still improving fitness-wise. You know, he's missed a large part of the season. We've got Katja that's still not fit and available. Amici that's going to be back next week. It's a strong group when they're all together. So, you know, the squad's looking better and stronger. For now, we just need to get them and keep them in one piece and hopefully add to that before the end of January. And then keep ticking off one game at a time, really. You know, we're delighted with today, but we know we've still got lots of work to do and a big game coming up next week. Yeah, building from a solid base, because that's back-to-back -back clean sheets, as yeah. you mentioned before, which is a really good sign, isn't it? And you've had a tough run away from home, lost a lot of games by tight margins, yeah. so we're going to, to pull it out the other way. Clean sheets are huge in football and, and one of the main reasons we got promoted last season, the run we went on was we kept a lot of them in the second half of last season. Look, um, if you can't win, you don't lose and keeping clean sheets does that for you. It gives you a good platform and solid base. We did that today and as I said, the last 20 minutes we, we took over the game and really only one team going to win it. Just one little bit of concern, Kieran Lee couldn't play in the second half. Yeah. Is that nothing too serious, hopefully? Um, I mean, he's jarred his hip. It's nothing too serious, but... Um, he was struggling to stretch his groin and Kieran knows his own body really well and, and made the call to get him get him off but it's probably a mark of of how far we've come in, in January so far that you're bringing on Dapo to replace him so it's really pleasing. Nicely, it is one game at a time but nice to have a, a week to build up now to what's going to be a super game next week, Sunland at home, it's yeah. you know it'll be rocking in the stadium, it's going to be great. Yeah, I mean for now all we need to focus on recovering and you know then focusing on improvement in this shape and formation, we know we've got lots and lots of work to do um, and we will get better but for now we'll enjoy these two results back to back clean sheets um, great for Dion as I said lots of positives today but lots of hard work to come